at 5. You're looking at video of officers escorting the body of Rogers Police Chief James Allen to Bentonville. Right now, police officers are joining a memorial for Chief Allen. Here's what you need to know. Allen passed away this morning. He had been fighting a battle with cancer. Friends and colleagues learned in December that the fight would end soon. Tonight, we have team coverage, starting with Daniel Armbruster live in Bentonville tonight. Daniel. Well, Craig, we're here at Callison Lowe Funeral Home here in Bentonville, and it is here where Chief James Allen's body was brought here earlier today in a funeral procession. And tonight, there are officers here standing guard over his body. And of course, those officers from Rogers and Bentonville have the utmost uh, respect for their chief. And tonight, we're going to take a look back at his long and distinguished career. In 60 short years, Chief James Allen accomplished so much to move two of our biggest communities forward and to keep us safe. Born in Newport, Arkansas, and a graduate of Arkansas State, Allen started his career in law enforcement as a patrolman and medic in Jacksonville. He then worked for a short stint with Arkansas Alcohol Beverage Enforcement. After that, his law enforcement career got serious. He was a deputy in central Arkansas and left to become the police chief of Bentonville in 1989. He led that department for 22 years before he left to become the police chief in Rogers back in 2011. The officers he led say Chief Allen had a great vision for making our town safer. He was a chief you rarely saw in uniform because Allen was a chief who meant business when it came to protecting and serving. Now, Chief Allen is survived by his wife and children. And just hours ago, the Rogers Police Department added a quote from Chief Allen on his Facebook page. And this really tells you what type of leader Chief Allen was. And here's the quote it says, Do the right thing at the right time for the right reason and treat everybody with dignity and respect. Well, right now, Rogers City flags have been ordered to be flown at half staff. This is in honor of Chief Allen's service to the city. Local officers showed off their blue lights in late December. You may remember for Chief Allen, this picture was taken in Rogers, and you can see the lights of several police cruisers. At the time, the police department did not comment on the chief's health, just saying that he was going through a rough time. Now, earlier, we told you a police escort drove here with Chief Allen's body. Earlier today, officers from both Rogers and Bentonville were a part of that procession. And tonight, we continue our team coverage now with 4029's Emily Maha telling us what those officers are doing tonight. Daniel, officers from across Northwest Arkansas have been here all afternoon. Take a look at the carport behind me. You can see a white SUV. It's a police vehicle. And these officers will be standing guard 24 hours until the chief's funeral. A single white SUV with a police officer inside got here just before the procession. About a half dozen marked police cars from Rogers and Bentonville, where James Allen served as chief for more than 20 years, escorted his body to the funeral home. Officers walked into the funeral home. Then shortly after, left, all but one. One police car stayed behind. Bentonville Police Chief John Simpson says an officer will stay at the funeral home with Chief Allen throughout the day and into the night until the chief is laid to rest. Simpson says the officers don't want Chief Allen's body to be alone. The Bentonville police chief says more officers may come to stand guard after they get off their shifts. Live in Bentonville, Emily Maha, 4029 News. All right, thank you very much, Emily. And uh, a date for Chief Allen's funeral has not been set yet. Of course, we're going to keep you up to date on that as that information comes to us. Now, just a few moments ago, we spoke with the U.S. attorney for our region, Connor Eldridge, and we were talking to him about another story. But of course, with the news of Chief Allen's death today, it came to mind, and, and he had some thoughts about the chief, and he wanted to share that with us. Take a listen. He's, I mean, you know, just widely respected as a, as a great leader in law enforcement, and I was privileged to work with him these last four years um, with the federal cases that we brought in conjunction with Rogers Police Department, as well as uh, just generally law enforcement issues in, in Northwest Arkansas. And Craig, I think that's a testament not just to what a great police chief he was, but to what a great man he was.